we go to the top of the fifth inning here at Scotiabank Field at Matt Bailey Stadium. Vancouver's at 2-1 to one over the Tri-City Dust Devils, looking for a five-game sweep in this series. Of course, the Seas won the first four games. Tri-City took a 1-0 lead in the top of the third inning, and just their second lead all series. But the Seas answered right back with two big runs in the bottom of the fourth, and here we're on the top of the fifth inning with the home team ahead 2-1 to one, as David Hernandez leads off for the Dust Devils. Hernandez is 0-1, for one, batting 273 this summer with 41 base hits. The first pitch from Sanchez, a 90 mile an hour fastball on the outside corner, strike one. Sanchez has given up two hits in four innings with five strikeouts as Hernandez lines a fly ball to center field. No problem for Matt Newman, he makes the catch, so quickly one away here in the top half of the fifth inning. As we bring you baseball action on CanadiansBaseball.com. Brian Humphreys is next up, the center fielder for the Dust Devils. He made a great catch in the third inning, or pardon me, in the, yeah, in the third inning. On the fly ball by Fieldmaker early in the game. He's 0 for 2, however, at the plate. Ground ball to Opitz, should be an easy play. Over the first, two away. So Sanchez is getting uh, quick outs here so far in this inning as we have two outs and Featherston, the shortstop, is up to bat. Featherston is one for one with a double, a walk, and he scored the only run so far this, in this game for Tri-City. Sanchez is ready, the first pitch. On the outside corner, the 93 mile an hour fastball, so it counts 0 and 1. Terrific pitching matchup so far today as he swings to the miss, so it counts 0 and 2 on Taylor Featherston. Batting 221 this summer with 33 hits, 17 runs batted in. He'd been struggling in this series coming into today as he swings and miss strike three at an 82 mile an hour changeup and that's one two three for Sanchez here in the top of the fifth inning so two one Vancouver as we go to the bottom half of the fifth momentarily you're listening to Canadians Baseball at CanadiansBaseball.com Wow that was great That was great. Bailey Stadium for the bottom of fifth inning with the C's ahead 2-1 over the Tri-City Dust Devils as we bring you Canadians Baseball at CanadiansBaseball.com. 
the numbers eight, nine, and one hitters for the C's in this inning as Andy Burns fouls one back. Burns playing third base today. It's 0 for 1 so far. Just a gorgeous day today for afternoon baseball. We have yet another sell out this afternoon. The eighth straight. So 5,171 fans here at the ballpark enjoying this matchup. Second pitch from Jensen hit the outside corner. The count is quickly 0-2 on Andy Burns. So line drive out to left, running hard left fielder. Makes a nice running catch. That's Tyler Massey on left field for their first out here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. So if you're just wondering about the playoff race, even though Vancouver is in last place here in the, in the second half, they're actually very much well alive in the playoff hunt. It's first pitch from Jensen to Chris Schaefer, who is one and one, who's one for one this afternoon. So the count was 0-1 on the catcher. Next pitch to hit the outside corner, a 74 mile an hour changeup. Counts quick with 0-2. So we have both pitchers throwing strikes this afternoon. Low scoring game. And here's a foul ball hit out to section 10. Someone will have a nice souvenir out there. So the count remains at 0 2. But uh, getting back to the playoff chase here, Eugene won again last night. And Everett lost. Now, those two teams, Eugene and Everett, had been tied going to last night's action. It's a pitch. High, a 90 mile an hour fastball, so it counts one and two. But Eugene won again last night, and Everett lost an extra innings. So right now, Eugene is ahead by a game over Everett in the standings. So foul back out of play. What that means is that because Eugene won the first half, if Eugene wins again in the second half, then the second playoff team from the Western Division will go to the team with the next best overall record. And right now, the team with the next best overall record would be the Vancouver Canadians. So, we've been doing a lot of scoreboard watching. So pitch is outside, count is two and two. We're hoping that, of course, Eugene can somehow continue winning while we keep winning, and Salem, Kaiser, and Everett continue losing. Got that? I know it's a bit complicated, but uh, if you have any questions, go on to KanianSpaceWalk.com. Rob Fay has all the scenarios laid out, so you'd be in good shape. You can check out our website, KanianSpaceWalk.com. Ground ball to third, off his glove, quick throw to first, though, one away. So Langfels, who came into the game at third in the fourth inning, or oh, harming the third inning, had that ball go off his glove, but he made a quick recovery, got up, picked the ball up, quick throw to the first, and then the throw B burns. So we have, oh, it's Parmi, the throw B Schaefer, I should say, so they're two away, as Matt Newman is up to bat here with the bases empty and two outs. First pitch swinging, deep to left field, not deep enough, as the left fielder, Macy, makes a catch and the C's go one, two, three here in the bottom of fifth inning. So after five innings, the C's are still ahead two to one as you're listening to Canadians Baseball on KanadiansBaseball.com. Well, I think I did pretty well. <laughs> 